I was diagnosed with depression ever since I was 14. Living with depression feels like there's a ticking bomb inside you, counting down the seconds until it finally reaches zero. Then darkness runs all over you, and there's little to no way out. When I was 17, my self-esteem was down. I felt so alone. I just hated myself for having these problems. The fact that I was a junior in high school was already stressful enough, but the fact that the environment at school felt way much better than at home, it was too much for me to carry. My parents are all traditional. Chores had to be done every day. The apartment had to be perfectly clean, and there wasn't one day I wouldn't be put to shame for not doing things right. If I didn't meet my mom and dad's expectation, I would get yelled at. The senior year came along. I was afraid of turning 18 because I believed my parents would put more expectations on me. I secretly hoped they would forget my birthday. They didn't. After a stressful senior year, I finally reached my goal of graduation. But the struggle didn't end there. I still live with my parents and the rule applied that as long as I'm under the roof, I still have to follow the rules. I will still get yelled at and be put to shame for not doing things right on the first try. One evening, I felt so alone. I gathered the courage to talk about how I felt to my dad. It was something I was afraid of doing, talk about my feelings to any of my parents, because I would always end up feeling even worse than when I began. Everything went downhill after I tried to confront both my mom and dad and tell them to please take it easy on me, that their high expectations was too much for me. When everything failed, I began to break down so bad. I felt pain not only mentally and emotionally, but physically. I was breathing too fast and sobbing so hard because I felt so crushed at the fact that my parents would not change their ways of applying pressure on me to be perfect. That evening, I was brought to a hospital by my therapist. I spent 10 days in the hospital before I got discharged, but I wasn't ready to go back to my parents' house. I had barely begun to value myself, to accept myself, to know I am worth something and that I have the right to make choices. So I arranged things with my best friend and currently I am staying there until I am ready to go back to my parents. To gather plenty of armor against the many struggles, I will have to face them in the future. My depression is something that makes my life a little challenging. But the thing is, I love challenges. Bring it on. Oh my god, and we totally jumped off the cliff and had to swim all the way to shore because the dog chased us all the way to the end.